Hello students, so uh, let us try to solve one very interesting question and uh, this is a quantum mechanics question and this came in the net share of June 25. और बहुत सारे बच्चों ने कहा है कि शायद इसके कोई आंसर गलत हैं YouTube पर किसी ने कुछ सॉल्व किया है बट आई एम जस्ट गिविंग यू माय पर्सपेक्टिव दैट व्हाट इज दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन दिस क्वेश्चन इज वेरी वेरी कॉन्सेप्चुअल नॉट कैलकुलेशन बेस्ड क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज दिस सो अ स्पिन हाफ सिस्टम इज प्रिपेयर इन द इनिशियल स्टेट फाइव एंड दैट इज रूट थ्री बाई टू इन अप स्टेट एंड रूट थ्री बाई टू इन डाउन स्टेट वेर अप एंड डाउन स्टेट द आइगन स्टेट ऑफ एस जेड सो वॉट इज दिस यू कैन फॉर द क्लियरिटी यू कैन जस्ट राइट this phi is nothing but root 3 by 2 phi z plus and 1 by 2 phi z minus and the eigen value correspond to 5 z is z plus is h cut by 2 and minus h cut by 2 so this is given a measurement and now look at look at this question this line very carefully the measurement of s z followed by measurement of s x this is very important the measurement of SZ is followed by measurement of SX on the system. What is the probability that measurement of SX yields to H cut by 2 plus H cut by 2? Students, many children are last year ke jo question hai, usko lekar ke confused. Hai. This is not the same question. What you have to do? You have to first measure SZ and after then you have to measure SX. So this is the thing. So if you measure SZ par major karte ho, then you have two options either you will get h cut by 2 or you will get minus h cut by 2 if you are getting h cut by 2 then this phi according to postulates 4 is proportional to phi z plus so this phi is proportional to phi z plus or agar aap isse measure karte ho then this phi is proportional to phi z minus so now and after then you have to measure your sx so if you are going to measure either on phi z plus or phi z minus then phi z plus can be written as 1 by root 2 phi x plus plus 1 by root 2 phi x minus and similarly this your you can just put this phi z minus this phi z minus is nothing but 1 by root 2 phi x minus minus 1 by root 2 phi x minus. अब आप अगर आइदर phi z प्लस को भी मेजर करो या phi z माइनस को भी मेजर करो phi x प्लस की होने की प्रोबेबिलिटी 50% होगी दैट इज हाफ सो दिस इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग सो योर आंसर विल बी हाफ जो कि CSIR ने दिया हुआ है स्टूडेंट मैं फिर से कह रहा हूं क्या हो रहा है फर्स्ट यू आर मेजरिंग sz सो वंस यू विल मेजर sz आइदर यू विल गेट h कट बाय 2 और माइनस h कट बाय 2 इफ यू आर गोइंग टू मेजर h कट बाय 2 देन दिस phi इज प्रोपोर्शनल टू phi z प्लस if you are going to measure minus h cut by 2, then this phi is equal to phi z minus. Now this phi z plus and phi z minus can be written in a basis of phi x plus and phi x minus. So they can be written as a basis of phi x plus or phi x minus. So again the probability of measurement of sx on either phi z plus or phi z minus is equal to half or half because now your state is not remain phi state rather it may either phi z plus or phi z minus so this is very conceptual question in this question you have to go for postulates 2 3 as well as you have to go for postulates 4 so it is the first time that csir have asked the question from the postulates 4 that state just after measurement what is going to happen or you have to just measure one operator just after then you have to measure the another operator. So this is the not same question which was asked into the last examination. This is entirely different question and from the my point of view my answer is 1 by 2 and this will be I think this is correct answer. Thank you.